Hello and welcome to the History Studio. And to this episode, we will look at Jacobitism, a Catholic king and the glorious evolution. In 1685, Charles II of England was succeeded by his Catholic brother, James. James became King James II of England and 7th of Scotland. By the time he became king, England and Scotland had very good relations. In 1603, James I united the crowns of England and Scotland, which meant that England and Scotland shared the same monarch but had different parliaments. By the time James II became king, most of the people in England and Scotland were Protestants. In those days, religion really mattered because to control the people, you have to control the church. James's daughters, Mary and Anne, were Protestant. Why? because they were the daughters of James first wife who was a Protestant and when James married his second wife who was a Catholic James converted to Catholic and his daughters did not convert. On June 10, 1688 James Francis Edward Stuart was born. After his birth the nobles were the Catholic dynasty so they invited Mary's husband William of Orange to invade and take the crowns of England and Scotland. On 5th November 1688, he landed and became the King of England. By January 1689, he was crowned as Emperor, as King of England and Scotland, and the Stuarts were exiled in France. The Jacobin Rebellion of 1689 Most of the people in England and Scotland accepted William as King. Only a small minority did not accept these minority were called the Jacobites. These Jacobites would keep rebelling in the next 57 years to put a Catholic Stuart monarch on the crown. After the, after the British Revolution, nobles in Scotland met up to decide whether to accept William as king or not. Most of them accepted. The Latin name of James means Jacobus, which then means Jacobite. Most of the people in Scotland accepted William as king except for John Graham, the first Viscount of Dundee, also known as Bonnie Dundee. He raised, he failed to raise an army in the Scottish lowlands and the cities, so he moved to the Highlands, where he raised a force of 2,000 strong Highlanders. He met the English at the Battle of Killy Cranky on 27th of July 1689. Although Dundee defeated the English army, he himself and 800 of his men died. After the battle, there were two other battles which were disastrous for Scotland and the rebellion of 1689 was quickly put down. After the rebellion, the government in London asked the Highlanders to pay homage to William for a £12,000 reward. Most of the clan chiefs accepted and paid homage to William on time. McKean of Glencoe delayed by seven days due to winter. So he, he, he and his entire clan was massacred on 13th of February 1682, known as the Massacre of Glencoe. Massacre of Glencoe still remains one of the most notorious events in Scottish history. 1707 Union with England and the Jacobin Rebellion of 1715. On May 1st, 1707, Queen Anne united England and Scotland to form Great Britain. Then began a search for a new flag. These were the designs that, that were proposed for a new flag. But they came up with this flag, which puts the flag of England above the flag of Scotland, which many Scots don't like. So they came up with their own flag this flag, which puts St. Andrew's Cross, which is Scotland's flag, above England's flag. Also, the own alliance between England, between Scotland and France have also been diminished, which means that Scotland and France, who were earlier trading with each other, were stopped. After the Union, France, Scotland's key trading partner, had been cut off, becoming Britain's new enemy. Many Scots did not like this and they opposed. They opposed the Union. James Francis Edward Stuart gave strict orders for any Jacobite not to oppose the Union 
because an unpopular union could mean him getting the crown. In 1714, Queen Anne died hairless. So her second cousin, George, Elector of Hanover, became the king without even knowing a single alphabet of English. Many Scots viewed him as an alien. Many Scots opposed this. One of the opposers was the Earl of Mar. Earl of Mar raised an army of 20,000 men. The Second Jacobite Rebellion was very successful in Northern Scotland. They captured Inverary, Gordon Castle, Inverness, Arbeden, and Fort William. He was very uh, poor in battle tacticians. His indecisiveness allowed the English army to defeat them at the Battle of Sheriff Moor on 13th November 1715. On June 10, 1719, James Francis at the store landed in Scotland, and they also tried to start a rebellion, which turned into fail, and the Jacobites were defeated at the Battle of Glenshield. After the Battle of Glenshield, both Earl of Mar and James Francis at the Stuart fled to France. In 1719, England made peace with France. And, and the Stuarts were unceremonially killed out of France. James Francis Edward Stuart went to Rome, where he set up the Jacobite court in Rome. The Jacobite Rebellion of 1745. The last Jacobite Rebellion of 1745 was the most famous. The commander in chief of the Jacobite army was Prince Charles Edward Stuart. One Prince Charlie and Young Pretender were his other names. He had a plan of sailing, of invading South England with 7,000 French troops, but in, but in 1744, a great storm devastated the French Navy and these plans. The young prince sailed himself to Scotland with seven men, known as Seven Men of Moidrat. Then he reached the Jacobite stranded at Glafinan. On 21st September 1745, Prince Charles Edward Stuart and his Jacobite met the British at the Battle of Preston Pans. Edinburgh was captured, and after they had captured Edinburgh, he invaded England, starting the Jacobite rebellion, starting the Jacobite invasion of England. They reached as far as Derby, which is only 100 miles from London. Meanwhile, in London, panic struck. Everyone, the English supporters of uh, Jacobites in England, in London, were waiting for the Jacobites' arrival, but the Jacobites never came. When Charles Edward Stuart was returned back to Clarendon Moor. On 16th of April 1746, William, Duke of Cumberland, met the Jacobites at the Battle of Culloden Moor, the last pitched battle fought on British soil. This battle lasted only one hour. In just one hour, entire Jacobite of independent Scotland was shattered. After this rebellion, Prince Charles Edward Stuart fled to France, knowing little about the caring to Wilfred Mill. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please click subscribe and like. Thank you.